This is a demonstration of the dim bulb box with preheat bulb feature. It is connected to a Fender DeVille amp that works, but I'll pretend for a moment that I don't know that. So I'm starting with an 11 watt bulb. I start it with bulb limiting in preheat bulb mode. Turn it on, preheat the bulb so it's warm, switch it over to test amp. When I do that, I notice I'll do it again. Preheat bulb, there's zero volts going to the amp. When I turn it to test amp, it bounces up to about 10 volts. A bad amp, would, shorted amp, would stay around zero. I'll turn it off, go back into preheat, try a 20, try a 25 watt bulb, preheat it. This time the voltage goes up even more. It goes up to 10, 20, almost 30 volts. You can see the current is real low, which is great. Turn it off. Preheat bulb. I'll go to 40 watt. Turn it on, nice and bright. All the way up to about 50 volts, 60 volts, and hardly any current at all. That looks great. In fact, pretty soon the amp will start making some sound. Turn it off. Go up to a 60 watt bulb. Current's real low, voltage is going up. Amp's starting to make some noise. This is a 100 watt bulb. Preheat bulb, turn it on, switch it over. Amp's up to about 100 volts. Now I can go to a 200 watt bulb, but there's no point. I'm already over 100 volts, so I'll just go to direct bike. See it, light bulb is just barely. Go to direct, and now it direct just goes straight in the wall. a video of what a bad amp looks like.